Hello guys, so the video we're having a wonderful day from us about products and enjoy the video. Now today guys, we are here with the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. Uh, in today's episode, we shall be uh, challenging, I said hopefully, that we will be challenging the second gym. What I'm saying hopefully is hopefully we win and uh, get our second gym badge. Um, <clears throat> that's probably all we're going to do today. If we do it pretty quickly, um, we're probably going to go into the Pokemon Mansion. Because uh, one, there's an encounter we can get. Two, there's a static encounter we can get, which is the Rotom, right? Speaking of statics, if we have even more time, I'll probably do a quick transition uh, into collecting some free Pokemon that we missed out on. According to Big, in the comment section, we can actually go back to Professor Rowan's lab and snag the rest of the Sinnoh starters. And also, I just remembered, there's an Eevee Pokeball in our house, and I'm pretty sure we can pick that up because I'm thinking, hold on, we were given the evolution stones pretty much for Eevee. We're going to Eevee at the house. It's probably going to be a free Eevee. Okay, cool. Now, oh, put the mouse on the screen by accident. Sorry, fellas, for anyone that gets triggered by that. <clears throat> Epilepsy warning. This is the team. I did do some grinding. We've changed it up a little bit, mainly just because of this gym. We'll probably be back. To, I'll probably switch it up again uh, after the gym. But this is what we're rocking with. So we've got Nikki now. Uh, the Gyarados on the team and, and, the, and the thought process is you're probably sitting there thinking so you're going into a grass type gym why I mean it is water flying so it's it's it tanks the grass type moves the only thing is if any of these grass types have rock or electric type moves we might be in trouble right <clears throat> especially if it's electric because it's it, it's quad it's going to kill it no matter what right I'd be very lucky if it survived um the reason though one it can get bounce because I saw that from, you guys saw that from the Magic Cup. I knew it could get Ice Fang too. And Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is such a cheat code early game. Probably be before, like, within the first three gym badges of a Pokemon game. If your Pokemon has Dragon Rage, it's a big, big advantage. So that's the thought process. That's why he's on the team. Uh, I replaced Marshtom. And the reason why I placed Marshtom, um, this might be a temporary replacement. I don't know. But with the Dragon Rage cheese, we might have to abuse it. But the reason why I replaced Marshtomp, because if I'm in a situation where I need to use or utilize all my Pokemon, Marshtomp is getting rocked. And I can't I can't lose Marshtomp. Swampert's too good of a Pokemon. So I'm putting him to the side. You know, quad weak to grass. Leave it. Staravia, same old, same old. Uh, I need to swap around the moves. There we go. I noticed that with a few of my Pokemon, but Yusuf, same old, same old as well. <clears throat> Metamech, he learned Bullet Punch. I, I got rid of Takedown because, like, let me have another... Um, this is a priority move. I didn't know Bullet Punch was a priority move. So, yeah, uh, I'll take that gladly in a uh, Dreano ROM hack. Next up, we've got Charmeleon. Um, I didn't want to put this on the team. I actually wanted Combuskin, but he obviously died. Uh, but, yeah, Dragon Rage. I, I forgot uh, he changed Charmeleon to this um, dragon using Pokemon. So, yeah, very good. And it's a fire type. Come on. Uh, and, obviously, Twiggy Fig is there. Doing the damn thing. Learned Seed Bomb. Very good move. We need to switch these around. There we go. And uh, yeah, his move set's looking very, very nice. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking, 27? What? I was actually meant to train him to level 25. And then accidentally over-leveled. I think it was Yusuf. So I was like, okay, let me get him to 26. And then accidentally over-leveled someone else. I was like, all right, let's get him to 27. So that's the levels. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, it's good enough. I do need to get some items. Uh, being some healing items. Uh be accurate and more precise things i haven't talked to everyone in the town and I, and I need to i need to i think after the gym see we're so low on money man um i'm gonna get seven of these i'm pretty sure i have some items to sell should i have done this off screen maybe but hey it's nice to bring people along and have them watch right 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 uh stardust we can sell this for, for i could have sworn it was worth more uh oh we're gonna give that oh shit yeah all right let's go i'm giving that to to nick here I was literally thinking, oh, I wish I had Silver Heart, or Silver Heart would be good for, for, <laughs> for Nick. That's that's nice. Okay, cool. Uh, you've obviously got the Silk Scarf. Um, I feel like I should give that to Yusuf, because he's also a hard hitter. But Quick Claw. I mean, we may as well give it to Metamech, right? I don't think there's anything else to give. Hardstone, Rock type moves. I would have given that to the March Stop, because he's got uh, Rock Slide. But yeah. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do I want to buy any more? No, I mean, we'll, we'll earn a bit of money from these battles. I know Cynthia's up there. She's going to give us, like, HM for cut, um, which is a grass-type move in this game, which I like. And, again, I like the fact that Driano changed the typings. 
Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Sorry to disappoint, but after this, you've come such a long way. Oh, Route 216, looking for some grass Pokemon. I'm sure she'll be back to the gym if you find and talk to her. Oh, that, to be fair, okay, 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 cool. Alright, <clears throat> I guess we have to go there. We, I guess we're forced to trigger the dialogue of uh, Cynthia, I guess. Oh, Barry, okay. Hey, Soda. You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take it. No, I... Do you know something? I actually never knew this. I don't know if you guys knew this, but there's a hidden item behind that uh, statue. And I found that out on my own as a kid. I was like, what? It's a Draco plate, mate. I forgot. Oh, he has the deep voice. So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue, shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth. Its truth needs investigation. Pardon me. Stand aside. Oh hey, when we when we smacked to get when we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to our oh, really, an easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you never lose. You'd be an invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue. See you around. You need to take me there. I need no world tour from you. Since his Pokemon statue, there seems to have been the scripted plate, but it's worn off. And right here. Eh? What? Usually there's a Draco plate there, but I can't guess Joanna changed it. This kid gonna give me a, give it to me and say you found it first? No? Okay. That's fine. Again, really I wouldn't talk to everyone, but again, he might have changed things. Because again, there's some people that trade. You never know. I'm just kind of skim reading what he's heard or what he said. Voice of my Palkia and Dialga. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time here. Come on. Six minutes, seven minutes in now. Alright, we can get an encounter here. Um, but we need to go to Mount Coronet. We are a bit of a we are a bit of a disadvantage using a Pokemon that's weak to rock types, but doesn't matter. Let's see we got Dragon Rage, bro. Slugma. Oh, that'll be fun. I feel like I'm second guessing and like constantly like J just doubting myself or yeah second guessing like every move i make even though it's the right move like i'm thinking even harder just because it's a drama game i shouldn't be doing that you know what i'm saying like that moment i shouldn't have, have to look at my party but i don't know uh but oh we actually do have burn hills so, um are we gonna use anything else in that 216 northeast of mount coronet okay this is 211 where's the where's the town map Two one, two ten. 210. That's my corner. What the frick is 216? She's in 216, yeah? Northeast of Mount Corona. It's 211. What was he talking? Where's 216? 212, 213, 214, 215. Frick is 216. 222. Jesus. Ah, okay, so I have to go up. Do I need HMs for that? Do I even have Pokeballs? There's a few encounters here. Uh, see, that's the thing that's annoying me now. I didn't want that, this episode to be long. I thought I was just going to challenge the gym. You know, like I said at the beginning of the episode, everything I said at the beginning of the episode, I thought that's what I was going to do, but apparently not. Um, I don't want to Nice, Moonstone, there we go. I was going to say, I'm not going to evolve uh, Eevee until we get a Moonstone, so... Yeah, definitely, definitely... Uh, Gonna get an umbrella with that now for sure. So many free items here. Oh my god, no, I did not mean to do that. Those are high levels in there. Unless nah shit no, come on. Drian will definitely change it. There's no way he's gonna throw it. Like, come on, someone's gonna get curious and go in there. Then he's not gonna have them stay at level 40, man. Alright, so I'm guessing it's here then. I have to go all the way here. Red shot. Hey, I'll take these uh free items though. How much wanna bet I forget these items? Uh I got these items <laughs> when I come through here for the uh, Dialga and Palkia. Bro, I love coming through here for Dialga and Palkia. When I was a kid, oh mate, I didn't even know how to get through here, so I had to do it all on my own. Oh, it was, do you wanna know something? It was the best thing ever, bro. It was so satisfying figuring it, figuring it out on my own. Maybe I might have had a little help. I don't remember. But regardless, it was so oh, it was so cool. It was one of the coolest things. Like for me, the coolest paths to a legendary. 100% is coming through Mount Coronet and like doing the rock climb thing. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I love it. I, I, I love it. A star piece, that was unintentional. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, i got a lot of recording to do today. I'm, I, I want to record a... Oh, shit. This is an encounter, isn't it? Um, 
I think you, nah, you survive a Dragon Rage, bro. It's freaking Trimeca. You're involved with evolution. I told you. Alright. First and foremost, Healy Healy. Secondly, let's use a Gospel. Alright. Now, I sound very uh, wrong now saying that the Pokeball's work. <laughs> but, now look. Like, just leave me alone, alright? But yeah, as I was saying, a lot of recording to do today. I got this. Um, again, I hope. Bro, just get caught, man. I've never really used a Chime Echo. I don't really want to, but I, I do need this. Are you serious? There we go. I was getting worried because those sideways are starting to do a lot of damage. Um, we're going to call you. Bell Boy. Nice. Okay, we ain't got any more repels, but that's I guess that's okay. I think. Just trying to get these snag these items before before we see Gardenia, you know. Um got any on hey under underrated waifu, I must say. I must say. Very, very uh, good looking woman. But anyway, a lot of recording to do. I got this, I've got a collab project. I don't think it's out yet. Oh, is it here? Is she in here? I'm pretty sure she has to be in it. No, oh no. Never melt eyes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do, do you know something? Now, this shows I've not seen gameplay of this game because I. Huh. So where is she then? Do I have to battle all these trainers? You're joking me. Ain't no way. After all of this early game. Okay, you need to relax, Donna. Yeah, I'm fighting you. <laughs> Get wrecked. Damn, bro. I really wanted to do the gym and everything. But the thing is, like I said, this ain't, I don't want this to be like Pokemon White, where the episodes are too long. But damn, I, I don't know. If these guys that have too, like, if their levels are too high, I'm going to be pissed off because I'm trying to find Guardian. I'm getting told she's meant to be here. And they got pretty high levels as well, actually. I'm glad I grounded up my team. And also, Fairy Typing is in this game. Because while I was training, uh, Mario was unaffected by Dragon Rage. And that was my test. I was like, let me let me let me see if it was something, something. You know what I mean? Now to be fair, I probably should give him the never melt ice now that we found it instead of the uh the silver powder. But we'll save that for the gym, I guess. Uh, everyone's gonna have ice type on here, so it's either gonna be Boro or freaking Nikki. Uh or Metamech to be used. Let's let's start using Boro, why not? Okay. But yeah, a lot of recording. Um, so a bit of a long day for me. I'll be honest, I don't know what's going on with me uh, lately. My sleep schedule is messed up again. I'm sleeping a bit more late than I usually would. And it's, it's really annoying me. I'm just like, bro, come on. Like, I've had enough of this bullshit, you know. Um, so, yeah. Oh, come on, you injured. So that's going on. And, and what it's leading to is me going into the gym late at night. And I don't mind late night workouts, but I don't like it like doing it all the time. Because the next day, I'd want to go in the morning, and I'm usually sleeping a little bit late, you know? There we go. Here she is. Here she is. Here she is. Are you trying to that's awesome? I'm a trainer too. Trying to an ice tap technique. I'm not having any luck there. I don't think I'm strong enough. If I had five badges, that would be enough strength. Does that mean if I get... Oh, thank you for the healies. Yeah. yeah um, I, I need to grind up uh, some dueling, so I'm, I'm trying to do rank. I went from Platinum 3 to Platinum 7. Uh, yes, I was trying to get to the one. I lost both my rank up games. Such bullshit. I threw one of the games. I was so pissed off on myself because I'm playing so well instead of. Oh, it's cold in this, isn't it? In this area. I'm not at all prepared for this now. Oh, hi. I'm Gardenia. I'm Eternal City's gym leader. Hmm. What's that? You're a challenger? You're saying that you came all the way from Eternal City to find me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I love grass types, you see. I came here hoping to catch a Snova. It's a Pokemon that's both a grass type and a nice type. But every time you approach it, it suddenly starts to hell. I wasn't prepared for it at all. I'll have to try again another time. Anyway, I'll go back to the gym. I'll be waiting for you, trainer. Mate, you couldn't take me with you? All right, we're definitely going to have a quick cut here. And we're going to go back there. I'm, I'm guessing Drowner made this a thing. In case, like, you uh, are not Nuzlocking this. Or you're, you are Nuzlocking this. And either have a bad team. Or don't have good matchups for, for grass types. Uh, it's very clever. I, I I do appreciate that. That's, that that for me is good game design. You see, like um, 
in my opinion, <clears throat> now some people might be like, oh, it's so pointless to go through here. Maybe so, maybe so, may maybe. But <clears throat> in reality, it's it's, it's not. I, I see it now because, like I said, he, he wants you to try and get some ice types to help your team, you know? Give you access to finding ice type encounters. That's good game design. I like that. But anyway, now we're going to do the skip because, yeah, it's too long. Okay, now Symphy is here. Oh, that device you have. It is a Pokedex. Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello, Soda. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. Nice, dude. Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Alright, nice. One thing that's also nice that Jorona did, um, while I was training uh, Magikarp and Charmeleon, I wanted to go back, and instead of going back through the forest, the area where you have to cut the trees, right, like down here, uh, the back end, um, you don't need, I, I'm pretty sure you had to use cut in, in the original game, and he took out the cut trees, so I just, you know, blitzed through that place. Alright, cool. Nikki. Annoyingly, Twiggy Fig isn't going to be in the lead party slot. I think we're just going to give him the XP share because I'm not going to use Twiggy Fig. Um, maybe if I'm like 100% certain, like I, I know like the Pokemon I'm up against doesn't have anything, you know, super effective for me, like a bug type move or poison type move, which they probably will as well. I'm not going to. Okay, this gym is very different. I, bro, there's so much things I don't remember from Platinum. Welcome, without further ado, let's go. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, just. It's just crazy. Giga Drain. See what I mean? Like, already got Giga Drain. I'm pretty sure I don't even learn it, like, at that, at that stage. Anyway, I, you're going to have Effect Spore. So, I know I'm going to get affected by that. No, no pun intended. Hey! Shut up, man. No pun intended, bro. I told you. But, yeah. <clears throat> got some recording. Uh, recently, I've been playing Pokemon BDSP again. So, obviously, you guys know, I completed uh, Pokemon Violet recently. And now the next thing is to, the po is to do the post-game of Pokemon BDSP. Now, I've explored them, but I'm pretty sure I've battled. Um, you can walk on the hands and get to the next trainer. Ah, yes, I remember this now. Okay, cool. I am out of this gym though, because I need to. I don't want to stock up and save up on healing items. Oh, my God. Bro, the, bar the, the speed up button I use is not working properly, man. But, yeah. <clears throat> as I was saying, um, Pokemon BDSP. Post game, I, I I visited all the resort all, all, all the different areas right in the top right corner. That's pretty much the post game, right? Uh, so I've done all of that. Now the thing is, I have to go with Bark and travel through. Uh, I, f I forgot the name of the place, Stark Mountain. Is that what it's called? No, it's not. It's something else. That's Gen Five, right? Anyway, I have to go through there. Um, and do you know something? I as a, I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, I swear I always thought that um, what's his name? Buck was a girl. I, don't ask me why, I always did. If you thought the same, please let me know. I don't know if it's the way they made his overworld sprite look and in battle sprite look, but he looked, his face looked very feminine, you know? Um, so I always thought he was a girl. And then I was like, oh, this guy's, this guy's, I'm sure this guy's a girl, right? And I look online and I saw actual pictures of him in the anime. I was like, yeah, this guy's a, it's a man. <laughs> I generally thought he was a guy. I was like, what the hell? Ah, I was like, okay, cool. I was wrong this whole time as a kid, bro. I was, I was deceived. But yeah, so. Ah, oh, crazy times, crazy times. But anyway, anyway. So I'm doing that. Uh, so obviously I want to catch Heatran. Uh, and then after that, realistically, that would be the end of it, right? I would consider that the end of it. But now in my true game of form, I want to do that. Then go catch, um, what's it called? Some remaining legendaries, Mesprit being one of them. I have a second Master Ball, and I'm pretty sure it's because of uh, trading with EJ. Or, trading with someone, bro. I traded, I'm pretty sure it was with EJ. Um, and then what? Not only that, uh, not only Cresselia, uh, Mes or, or not only Mesprit, Cresselia as well. And then what else? Uh, Darkrai? I don't know if that's an event program. I'm pretty sure they made it no like available, like normal. If not, then uh, Game Freak are absolute scumbags, mate. And nicely done at Dre, I know. You can walk out of the gym and heal up because he knew you had to do that. But anyway, yeah, so it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Um, playing that game again. 
And speaking of playing games, I'm playing it Modern Warfare 2 again. Oh, my favorite, one of my favorite games of all time, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So good. Like, obviously, last summer they rebooted the servers as Microsoft acquired Activision, and they did the right thing, something that they should have done for a long time. And the sales that they were getting, oh, the player numbers was crazy. And I, I went on the other day because Oof wanted to play some Spec Ops. And there was a glitch. It was glitching really bad. And I had a feeling, I was like, this is probably because we're playing um, cross-gen. Because I'm playing on the Xbox One, he's playing on the Xbox 360. He searches it up, and yeah, it's a common, common glitch uh, that we had. And what the glitch was, uh, we're both in the same game, right? It's co-op, whatever. Um, both our games are out of sync. So let's say on his enemy thing, on his enemy radar, it says there's 10 enemies left. On mine, it will say there's 20, right? Like, we're both in the same mission, but different like we're seeing different things and it will say that i got downed and he has to revive me which isn't true and like all right it just glitches out um and then when that happens on my screen it look he's not doing anything he's just looking up at the sky and just walking it's just freaking stupid all right but yeah I, i'm expecting her to set up like toxic spice and leech seeds and shit you kept me waiting I'm a Turner's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type, the grass type master. When I first saw you, something, something, my hunch was right, right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have a battle. Let's go, Turner. Oh, Gardenia. I keep calling. Bro. All right, a full team of six. Man. Damn. Um, Ice Fang. No, I. What? That's bullshit. That is some biggity ass. Bullshit, bro. Okay, we're gonna paralyze heal. I told you we needed these, bro. I think grass not um, does more damage the heavier the Pokemon, right? Okay, that's too much damage. Um, we can go into Metamec. I think Metamec is fine here. But then if grass not might do a lot of damage just because it because he's heavier as well, isn't it? Um, so what I'll do is heal you up. Okay, that's an okay amount of damage. Paralyze. I feel like we're wasting too many paralyzed heals. Too much damage as well. Look at this. And I think stun spell has 100% accuracy too. We need to headbutt and flinch. Nice. There we go. Really, bro? I don't want to waste everything instantly, you know, but it's looking like it, right? Bullet punch is priority. 100 accurate. All right. Aquatel, mm -mm. it's stab, but no, nah, it's ninety percent accurate. And the moves you have right now, we actually need for this gym. So, hell no, Cherim, you're definitely gonna sort of be me. We need to damage you instantly. Gyarados literally is the Pokemon we need now, for real. So it changes form. You can sort of be me instantly. Uh, I think I'm gonna bounce. No, 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 no! Don't miss! Don't miss! Let's go! Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Tangler. Um, I feel like you're going to be troublesome. As it is as well. <sighs> no, you... I'm not stupid. No, no. I feel like you get Earthquake, don't you? I'm pretty sure he, he gets some sort of, like... Ground-type move or accessibility. Like, something crazy. Stun Spore. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to double team. You're missing more now, for sure. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Um, again, I don't want to waste super potions, but I kind of have to see. I told you you'd get something like that. I knew it. Um, okay. Switching to better mech. I told you. I told you she'd have a Pokemon that's good for Gyarados, bro. I told you. Or like something for, 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 for it. I had a feeling. Um... They're both special moves, so Iron Defense literally doesn't do anything. We just have to Zen Head, but... Grass not again? I think... Oh, no, I'm not going to full restore just yet. The other two moves won't do anything. It's just the Grass not I'm worried about. Um, Paralyze Hill. Oh my gosh. I'm scared of that move, man. 50. No, I need, I need to be fully healed, but oh, screw it. Shockwave. Damn, that's not resisted. I thought I was resisted. I mean, it's still not doing a lot of damage. I need to be full health, man. Okay, stun spot. You know what? Fine. Uh, we'll just go for the Zen Head, but I hope you do big damage. Uh... 
I definitely think I think it's because um he's heavy. That's what's doing that much damage. It has to be. Okay. This episode's gone so much longer than I wanted it to as well, so I mean, I guess next episode we can do the mansion along with the galactic hideout. Leech Seed, oh it's such a good move for you as well. I really like his moveset but I think Leech Seed is phenomenal, I'll, I'll get rid of that. We need some setup stuff. Grotto. You're going to have Buddha. I, I mean, I know your moveset anyway, but still like... Yeah, we're gonna drag a range because you're probably gonna sell curses. All each seeds. Really, is this what we're doing? Left. Ah, oh, that's a story post. You want to piss off? Fucking twat. Oh my god. This is literally. Oh, this is not a good battle. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy, but oh my god. Piss off! I can't even get rid of it as well. Protect, leech seed, seed bomb. You definitely have bulldoze. I need to bring out Twiggy Fig. There we go. You know what, if you want to stall out, I can do the same too. Sure, let's do that then. Your move is physical, right? Sure, let's do it. I st you're still getting crits, okay. Right, buddy. I don't want the episodes to be that long in, in this series, because we've really got a series like that. This is just getting annoying now. Okay, the fence is up. I ain't doing shit now, motherfucker. That's it. You've got something for me, I know that. You wouldn't switch out to Rose Road for no reason. Um, ah, shit. I mean, you don't resist this. Yeah, that's why. Oh my god. Of course. Can I switch out before he gets poison? Okay. Of course it doesn't. Um, I guess we're going to borrow. Breloom. I have to stay out with you. Was burned. Spore. Come on, man. Um, you're going to have a bunch of fighting moves. You're definitely going to have Thunder Punch. No, no way you're not going to have Thunder Punch for freaking Gary Dose. Mock Punch, sure. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. That 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 is not even my fault, bro. That ain't even my fault. I I would be. I, I am annoyed at that, but like, realistically, I shouldn't be. Uh, that's just luck, man. That's just so unlucky. Literally gets the poison too. Like, what? Are you serious? Like, really? You you get the poison? Of course you. Why wouldn't you get the poison? Come on, man. It's so annoying. I don't like it. Even if I lost one Pokemon in episode, I don't like that. And that's what it's looking like right now. I don't like that. <sighs> we have to use another grass type, don't we? Which one? I have no freaking clue. Uh, but we're going to go back to the lab and our, our home and uh, get some Pokemon. So we'll be right back. Possible. Ah, Professor Ryan's briefcase. It's coming full of academic papers and those briefs are also two Pokemon. They appear to contain Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Ah, so <clears throat> ah, Sona. You've noticed the Pokeballs that are inside my briefcase, have you not? I know. I have been very impressed at your ability to bond with Pokemon so much that I would feel safe if I were to entrust the two Pokemon inside that briefcase to you. They are also young Pokemon who would benefit from seeing the world. As their individual species, they are also exceedingly rare. As such, it would benefit your Pokedex to take them on your journey. Please do raise them well. Of course. So is that the first Pokemon? Obtain Chimchar. Of course I want to nickname the Chimchar. Um, I guess we'll call it Big because he did recommend this. And I'm pretty sure this is his favourite starter. So let's call it that. The second Pokemon. 
Piplup. And we shall call this... I have no clue what we can call this. Um, what can we name of Zed? I don't know what. We'll call him Zed. Alright, cool. Now back to our home. And uh, to obtain the Eevee. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, so why don't you do this off screen? This is just in case anyone that stumbles across this. Uh, you, you know, a random viewer. Or even someone that watches me consistently. Wants to play this game or is playing this game. And, it's like, and is like, oh shit, this is how I get the Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Even though they could have searched it themselves. Some people don't do that. It's an Eevee. We take the Eevee. So to obtain the Eevee. And you already know what we call our Eevees. Kevin. Good old Kevin. Love that. All right, cool. That is going to be the end of um, today's episode. A bit annoying it went a lot longer. I don't want these episodes to be long. You guys know this. Um, hopefully, next episode will be a lot shorter. Uh, I'm going to try to go through the mansion first so we can snag some Pokemon. And I also haven't got an encounter on the right of Eterna City. So we're going to get a few encounters, do the Team Galactic HQ again. And uh, yeah, probably grind everyone to level 32. 30 space 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, that's it for me. I love you all. Stay safe and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.